welcome to another Tuesday Talk. I'm Mark Jensen, team leader of the Mark Jensen team. And so today we're going to talk about how is technology affecting real estate. So one of the things that has come up um, is predict, it's called predictive behavior. So it analyzes a person's search through um, any website. So it's very similar to what Amazon does or Walmart or any of the big corporations where they are looking at what types of things that you're looking for and can actually suggest things that are very similar. So our websites are already um, adapted to that and it will learn at what type of homes and the locations that you're looking for and will continue to suggest homes that are very similar to that. The other thing it allows us to do is from a realtor side is if we have a client that's looking at listing their home, um, we can uh, put together a list of buyers, potential buyers that match that exact address. So anybody that's looking for a house in that price range in that area, we would then be able to market that exact home to them. So this is amazing technology. It allows us to target market our uh, advertising a lot more. So some of the other advancements in real estate are obviously through social media. Uh, social media and videos is huge. It's a big difference from a consumer. If you can follow us or learn about us, learn what, we, uh, what we're about, whether or not we're a good fit for you, and also what kind of information that we can share and the knowledge that we have um, as a realtor, as opposed to billboards and buses and uh, trying to sell with a great smile or some catchy phrase. So those are some of the things that uh, that are, have happened. The other thing that's big right now is obviously through COVID and through uh, lockdowns is um, Zoom technology. So being able to meet our clients uh, and do face-to-face -face through Zoom as opposed to meeting in an office or anybody driving any distances. And the other thing that's uh, really improved and made a big difference is electronic signatures. So the ability to be able to share documents back and forth, have them signed without having to travel back and forth for one party or the other. And even as far as deposits go, you know, now most uh, real, uh, real estate brokerages accept wire transfers or e-transfers, which uh, again, stops people from having to physically hand checks from one brokerage to the other. <laughs>